This should be recording. I hope. Ah, uh, right guys. Todd here, vlog time. Ah, oh, half shut knife. <laughs> Just, I'm not ready for this today. I, I'm not prepared as usual. I, I, I'm sorry to say, and, and I swear, have I, have I got bags under my eyes, or, or am I just? I feel like death warmed up. Blah. Either way, uh, it's about time I did a vlog and and it just gave you a little update on on what's happening, what has been happening, what's going to happen, and. Actually, no, I'm just going to show you some stuff that came in for review that I haven't told you about yet and um, and let you know where we're going with reviews. Uh, first things first. <laughs> for those of you that may not be aware, uh, uh, you, you reach a certain age where, um, do you know if you go to cook something in a microwave, it has instructions on the back. Um, and over the years, I find that I've, got, I've gone from here to here, to here, and, and it's one of these, you know, you doing this carry on, not being able, I actually thought that they'd re reduced the size of the font, I didn't real, re well, I did realise it was me, I was just making up shit excuses, uh, anyway, after months and months and months of pestering, I went and got my eyes tested, and, uh, and, and yes, I need, uh, or I got readers, um, what was it? One and a half, one point five, no, one point two five, one point two five in both eyes. So I'm now um, here. We go. This is this is when I'm coiling and stuff and stuff. I'm, I'm actually, uh, I look like a bit of my grandfather crossed with my dad. But they were both very intelligent men that did crosswords and things like that. Uh, I I don't. Uh, so yeah, that's I've got these littered all over the house now. So yeah. It's happened. It's happened. I've avoided it for as long as I could, but um, I was starting to get headaches and stuff like that. Anyway, so that's that. Uh, don't think I've spoken to you in this kind of format since before Christmas. So, you may not have noticed. You may not care. Uh, but the shelf, the big shelf that ran along the top here that had all my mods on it, um, well, one of the presents that I wanted for Christmas, I wanted display cabinets, and uh, I got two. Uh, so on uh, Christmas Eve, um, I set up two display cabinets. They're in the house now. I think I've got a couple of photos here. So all my mods are, are now in the house, all nice, shiny, and on display. Uh, if you watched the video I did about, um, oh, and they're protected by a very, very savage dog. Not really. Um, anyway, anyway, I have insurance. Uh, so, the, <laughs> kind of went off track there. Yeah, the shelf is gone, but um, I got other shelves. I got little display shelves. Uh, so, just to bore you, uh, yeah, th th this is just I'll change this about. It's not really that interesting, but um, I, I, I get to put my toys up. So I've got like my um, big 2000 AD fan, by the way, just in case you didn't know that. So Judge Dread Badge, that was a, a present from my little brother uh, one year. Um, and he always gets me cool presents. So that's there. That's the Beagle. Uh, that's the Beagle that um, Darwin mods. I'm showing that off. Uh, this is the from Minoan Mods. Um, now I've never reviewed this. I was given this last year in Stuttgart, and the reason it's on display, and it's been on display since these shelves went up before Christmas, uh, is that um, it's just quirky. It's old school quirky, and I really like the mods, so that's why that's there. Uh, I've got my Alien Queen, um, huge Alien fan, Alien and Aliens. The um, kind of remastered Aliens 3, uh, you know, that you got with the, the box set, you know, it was the, like a director's, well, not a director's, but like a director's cut. That was actually not too bad. Uh, anyway, and then it all went shit after that. Uh, so that's there. Uh, I've got my, my big uh, my big pipe, a little bear from my mum and dad, a baby Groot I bought for myself. And this is uh, another one, actually, from um, Minoan Mods. Uh, this is a stat eight, uh, 26650 um, mech mod. And once again, it's just a little bit batshit crazy. And 
and, and that kind of appeals to me uh, and it was a gift so I think it should be displayed um, and a little shed this is a present I got ages ago little shed my shed looks nothing like that actually um, and also this the Gulliver this was a present from a very very nice man as well um, this is um, a Yeehee uh, <sighs> Jewel you can run it Jewel or single uh, 26650 it's uh, it's crazy German stuff and I love crazy German stuff uh, I, speaking of crazy German stuff um, my my handlebar uh, mod that was a present from uh, Gudula smoke no smoke um, in Krefeld in Germany um, so that was a present that was made by Mr McSlees uh, and I love that to bits if you ever wondered what this picture this this was uh, this was done by Corrosive Creations uh, for me. I can't remember when the guys did it. But my 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 phoenix on it, and uh, yeah, it's it's beautiful. It's actually done on a copper plate. Um, it's really really smart. Um, what, what else have we got here? Um, I'll tell you what. Let's let's just go around like this. Why the hell not? <gasps> Camera moved. Um, I've had this for years, this was given to me by, actually this was in my mum and dad's shed, I think my mum was doing a job, uh, my mum uh, was an interior designer and she went to a prop shop and um, and she had this billboard, the, the cracker board uh, and, and I think I, I inherited it, I stole it, I stole it basically, sorry mum if you're watching this, um, this is my uh, La Horn mod. Uh, which is, is really really nice. Um, oh, I don't know if I told you this. My 3D printer uh, had an accident. I basically I left it unattended doing a print, and it went. Uh, uh, yeah, I came back and there was a big ball of uh, filament there. Uh, but the lovely Marcus Whitus, um, Mark White, if you don't know, uh, it's the grumpiest man in Fife. It's true. But he also makes exceedingly good juice. Lemon crack, blackberry crack, blah, 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 and uh, g and uh, Which you can get from justadnick.co.uk. That was a promotion. No, it wasn't. Uh, anyway, he came round to the house and uh, he fixed my 3D printer. And this I printed this off just after he left. Uh, just for shits and giggles to see if it was all... And that was all one print. I, I think that's amazing. I mean that was printed off in one go um, and it's just all interlocked and <sighs> absolutely love my 3D printer I really do uh, it's a Prusa i3 Mark II I do believe I had lots of other 3D printers um, well I had a few and I made one same as Dean's uh, myself and Dean got the same printer at the same time but I couldn't be bothered playing about with it all the time because uh, you had to do a lot of tweaking uh, the the original Prusa i3 you just push a button and it goes and the print quality is amazing I got the, there, there's a badge here there's the this was another present from another lovely man uh, it's the, the Judge Dread badge a judge badge but with my name on it and I'm pretty sure this was 3D printed I'm sure this was 3D printed what else have we got going on here this, this was a bottle that was given when I was over in um, Athens at uh, East Smoke Guru. Um, there was a, a guy in the shop, uh, a customer, a really nice guy, and, and, and he gifted me this bottle because um, because he was a righteous dude. And uh, and so this little bottle uh, kind of just sits because it, it was a present. And, and yeah. Uh, also, uh, I always keep my... Well, oh, it's falling to bits now. I keep my little Skyfall box up there as well because because it's a thing of beauty and it deserves to be displayed. Uh, other things that there are going on here and another shelf. <gasps> oh, sorry, sorry about the noise. Um, I have. Oh no, his arm's falling off. As I said, I'm a bit of a 2000 AD fan. I, I used to have them all. I used to have them up to date, all of them, uh, but they're all gone now. Um, which is which is a shame. It's a bit of a shame. But anyway, I bought myself this. I bought myself a little uh, Judge Dread. Uh, so I've got that. That sits up there. And that's the his lawgiver has just fallen underneath. <sighs> Here we go again. 
Uh, found it. Uh, and I've also got up there, I've got, um, this is my Kuro Concepts, uh, 18650 mechanical mod. Kuro Concepts uh, is my all time favourite mechanical mod. Um, it is just the best mech mod I have ever owned. Um, so there you go, that's why I keep that in here. Uh, also in here I have uh, this. This was made for me many, many moons ago. Um, I put a new button on it actually, uh, but look at the 510. <laughs> It's, it's fallen down the back of things and been forgotten about, but uh, I, I keep digging it out and throwing batteries in it just to try it. Uh, but that, that's that's when, uh, you know, that's when, yeah, shit was, <laughs> it was different. Things were different back then. Uh, shelf up the back there, another one up the back there is a uh, uh, big Hellboy fan. Huh. Got myself a little Hellboy. Um, I'm more a fan of the graphic novels. I'm not going to talk about the new Hellboy that's coming because that'll just upset me. Uh, so I've got a little Hellboy as well and and this was a present. I'm sure that was my mum and dad that gave me this years ago. Um, for my sins, I, I, yeah, I used to work in salmon farms, fish farms and, and I worked in the trawlers when I was a younger man as well. Um, so that reminds me of those days when I, whenever I get uh, pissed off and I think to myself, why am I doing this shit? Uh, why am I, yeah, I think to myself, yes, there are far, far worse jobs you could be doing. And working on a trawler is, yeah, that, that, that puts hairs in your chest, that shit. That really, really does. Uh, last things I'll mention, uh, there's there's Mr. Fox. Oh, Mr. Foxy up there. Uh, that was a present from my mum and dad. Um, also, I have, and just to, yes. This is a 2000 AD Prog 1. Um, I don't have the spinner. I actually had this. I remember, I remember distinctly going to the shops with my dad, uh, walk, walking through the, ca no, going through the caravan park in Loch Gilphead in Argyll, Scotland and playing with the spinner that actually came with this. I, I remember it clearly to this day. Um, so this was a present once again from my family um, and yeah and this was a present from my brother. These are pin badges for whoop, 2000 AD pin badges that he got me years ago. There's part of me that thinks that all this, this stuff displayed here should be to make my videos look better. They're not. They are purely for me to make me feel comfortable in my surroundings. Because I'm very selfish that way. <laughs> I will also point out that whoop, I got the uh, Screamadelica uh, for my Christmas from my parents. Uh, Primal Scream, such one of the best albums ever done. Uh, it really is. And and just <laughs> just show you this as well. Here we go. Um, I got I got presents. Um, I've mentioned this before, I've, I've, I have a Facebook group and it's, it's closed, it's secret, it's, um, and yeah, it has been for some time now. I get random stuff sent to me. Um, I don't get money sent to me or anything like that because, well, I wouldn't take money from anybody, to be brutally honest, but uh, they send me uh, stupid shit. <laughs> so, um, yes, uh, I got some biscuits to go with my coffee. I got 300 biscuits. Because you can never have enough biscuits. And um, thank you, Dominic, once again. Uh, also, uh, I did get, and I have no idea what this is about. I have no idea who sent it. Uh, but I did get this. I, I did, why do people send this stuff? It is so, so funny. It is so, so funny. Um, I need a new bum. Mine's got a crack. I can see in the mirror a crack at the back. It is very funny, and, and and yeah, as always, don't do it. Stop doing it. Give the money to charity instead, or do something like that. Um, but thank you very, very much. Uh, right. Um, oh, I also, oh, my mum made me something for Christmas that's also in display. Oh, this thing. Uh, this was uh, this is reference to a uh, Blade Runner. I uh, love Blade Runner, and um, this is can the repairer repair what he makes. Um, did a beautiful job on it. Thank you, Mum. Um, so, there we go. Uh, I did start off doing this vlog to talk about 
vape gear and it's and it's just not gone right I'm just going to move you around here again here we go um and TJ that was that was a that was a painting that, that was done by Barry um, if you're interested in getting anything like that done uh, there's a link in the description for every single video I do to Barry's website go and check it out it's a very talented guy um, so now that I've shown you I've not even shown you all the toys that I keep in the shed um, but I just thought I would explain I just wanted to, to, to yeah to make it more comfortable for me to sit in but that's that we'll stop with that what am I vaping on? Right, what I'm vaping on is, and and I'm not going to do uppy downy closey stuff or anything like that. This is just a, me on a Saturday afternoon chilling out, shooting, yeah, just chilling out. So, um, this. This is from Alden Mods. Now, I did a video for Alden in the past, um, and he made this for me and sent it on and it arrived the other day uh, and it is bloody gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous even the drip tip and the beauty ring there uh, that's that came with the mod as well uh, I, I, I'm just you got the firing button up here uh, <laughs> uh, no words um, do you know, I, I might, I'll, I'll probably might do a, a, I'll do a proper video for this one and show it off. I think it deserves to be shown off. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous and I love vaping with it. And on top of that, that is the Poet. Now this is the new RDA from Van and Dell Design. Um, and in this video, I shall not take the piss, I shall not joke, I shall not be a wind-up merchant about Van and Dell Design. I'll try. Uh, this is their new one. If you don't know Van and Dell Design, they, they've been around for forever uh, in vaping terms, basically. I think I've had all their stuff, actually, to be brutally honest. Uh, and and this is the latest one and I did do a live unboxing in my Facebook group and uh, I spoke about it and I've used it non-stop for the past two days and I will review it and do a proper review giving you pros and cons as I see them um, I will say that it is the best RDA they have done uh, the machining quality on it is by far the best they have ever done and the the vape from it is tremendous um there's a couple there's one little niggle i have with it which i'll cover in the review but it's not a deal breaker uh i think it's excellent and a, a round of applause to a 10 out of 10 actually i'm well chuffed for them i know they spent an awful lot more money on the machining uh, the, the machining costs were a lot higher for them uh, but i think that's paid off in the actual finishing and design and the, yeah it is Wait for the review. Uh, or if in doubt, go if you're in Facebook groups. You know, there's lots of people that got these. In fact, I think there was 507 people before me that got one because I'm not important. And I got a really high serial number. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. So that is what I'm vaping with. That's what I've been vaping with pretty much solid for the past two days. Uh, I am also, let's have a, a, a little look around here. Um, now, these. These got sent on and I never had this one when it was released. Uh, but Dubpo sent me on the jewel and the single. Um, now, when things started off, I really liked this one. I thought this was far nicer to look at and a lot more comfortable to vape with. This takes, you know, up to 21700 batteries, 10 mil capacity. This takes two 18650s and it has the same capacity and blah de blah de blah. I'm actually finding the Jewel more comfortable to hold in my hand than the single, which is kind of a swap around uh, for me. I I've been brutally honest. They're not for me. I don't. It's not. 
I wouldn't go out and buy either one of these. I don't find them visually appealing to me. The design behind them, uh, the way they perform, the amount of juice they carry, I am struggling to find much in the way of faults with them. I, I, I really am. And I hear people saying, ah, this should have been Jewel 21700. I've no idea why you would want a Jewel 21700. It'd be massive. Uh, but uh, yeah, some people do. I kind of dual 18650, decent 18650s do the job. Uh, oh, speaking of 18650s, I meant to show these. Uh, Fogstar have got these uh, new Molly cell batteries in. These were sent on by the Fogstar guys and I've been using them for the past week. Uh, they work well. They work well. They, they work, I, I mean, I'm using them in regulated and mechs and um, they are, for me, for I can't give you battery testing performance results and stuff like that. I, I don't have the equipment and and that's not what I do. Go and check out Battery Mooch. Uh, as always, uh, the link in the description for every video for Battery Mooch's page. Uh, go and check out Molly Cell and see what he says. He does rate them quite highly and um, yes, worth a look. And I got them from Fogstar. Fogstar sent them on. I did also get uh, the new L Thunder. Remember L Thunder mods? And I just want to do the Thundercats thing here right now. Uh, the, yeah, the L Thunder. So this is the 21700. Looks like that. And I've over dripped. Did you see that drip come? Did it go again? I've just over dripped. <laughs> um, now, once again, the, the main thing about the L Thunder is well, it's just made really well. And the coatings and the paint finishing on the mods are superb. And and this is no different. It's actually quite smart. One thing they've done though is, um, and hang on, I'll get the the little tube. It's always it comes in the, you know, the little El Thunder tubes like this. But, you know, you get your reducers so you can use 2700 uh, 20, and 18650 batteries. Well, we've got these things. So it's just a flat bit of plastic so you can actually keep that in your wallet or something like that. And, um, you know, if you want to use an 18650, you just wrap that round the 18650 cell, pop it in, and it takes the rattle out. It's, it's quite... I don't think I've seen that done before. Um, so, there you go, there's something new. I've also got the new RDA from Mass Mods. Um, and that's sitting on top of it. Now, this is a 23mm RDA, which is quite strange. But it does come with a beauty ring also. It's not my kind of RDA, I have to be brutally honest. Uh, and I've put a, a rather silly build in it. Uh, um, oh my god. That's not how I like to vape. I'm actually vaping zero milligram juice here just now. Um, it's not in the grand scheme of things. It's not a, an, a design that's going to blow you away. It's not something you haven't necessarily seen before. Two clamps. You can dual coil it. I've got a dual coil in it just now. Uh, you can adjust the airflow from your, your Cyclops. And if I can see here. There we go. I can take it down to... We've got little holes in there as well, so I can I can actually restrict it down to more of a draw that I would like, and I'll I'll try it with a single coil. I'll try another couple of builds before I do a review for it. But um, that that's uh, the new RDA from Mass Mods, and that was sent on by Custom Vapes. Abzi, thank you, Abzi. I've been putting photos up on Instagram. I don't usually bother with arty farty stuff and whatnot. I don't, I mean, me and Instagram, the way Instagram works is um, stick it in my hand, photo, boom, Instagram. I've now been even, go I've been going as far as hashtags. No idea what hash, don't explain it to me. I don't really care. But um, yes, hashtags and everything. Uh, so I got a little light box um, and it's, yeah, that wee thing there. So it's got built-in USB light, uh, USB LEDs at the front and the back, and um, yeah, it does the job. It, it works quite well, and um, that's what I've been, I've been using for like fancy ends, fancy Instagram shots. Yes. So um, and it's, there's nothing else. I've nothing else for you. I, I have more mods and more atties coming. 
Uh, for those of you that don't know, there will be a new Atty coming from NAR Mods. Another one. Um, it's been three years since the Narca. Can you believe that? It's three years old and it still holds its own. I've said this before, I've said this to many people, Narda and Narca. Uh, the Narca is the Narda, it's just got slightly better airflow and it's so much easier to coil on but they're very very similar vape wise for me and the airflow and so on. There's a new one coming I'll figure out how to pronounce the name. Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, Narag is sending me on a prototype version in the near future uh, and I'll find it uh, and, and I'll show it off to you as soon as it comes in. I'll show it off. Um, what else? I'm waiting to do a video for all my elemental mods. Uh, I've got quite a few elemental mods that I've never done videos for. I have a new one coming in and uh, I think I'll do a video and I'll just show them all off in one go. I think that would be nice because I'm actually enjoying doing the, um, the old shit. <laughs> the old shit videos. The videos for gear that um, I never did reviews for or stuff that I've, I've chased down and picked up uh, and, and using it and sharing my thoughts. Uh, I just did that with the armour make which caught me off guard. I really do like it. It's For me, I think it's an excellent little mod. I don't get, in the grand scheme of things, it won't make my channel any bigger. It won't attract any more views. I get less of anything. But it's fun for me and, 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 and being open and selfish as usual. As long as it's fun for me, I'll keep doing it. I don't care about numbers and shit like that. Sorry. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Don't. Um... That's it. That's all I've got for you. It really is. I do, I do keep meaning to do a video sh for things that came in for review but never got reviewed. And saying that, I've only got like three or four items and they weren't all... They weren't, actually, they weren't given to me for review. They were just given to me. Um, and I never showed them off up close and I think that I should do. I think I'm... I'm duty bound to do it and I feel a bit of a dick for not doing it before now so I'll get round to that as soon as I can um, but uh, yes I'm going to go listen the reason I'm going to go is Punisher is back um, I watched season 2 episode 1 last night it was about 1 o'clock in the morning and it was like boring 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 Bo oh my god and blood violence, gore, just insane um, and so that was, that was fun. So I'm going to go and binge on that today. I'm going to go and have a Punisher day. Um, I also watched, um, what else did I watch? Oh yeah, Star Trek Discovery Season 2 started back up last night as well. Very, very good. I loved the first season and this is starting off to be very good also. I'll not go through other reviews and things like that and uh, talk about what reviews I've done. If you're interested in what reviews I've done, I have a YouTube channel. You can go and watch the videos there. Um, other reviews that I've been watching, <gasps> none. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'm getting so flippant and, um, and bad tempered. The closer I get to f six months until I'm 50 and I'm just getting really, really miserable. Um, I tend to avoid looking around at what's going on in the vape world these days because it just makes me angry. Um, but um, yeah, there we go. I'll, I'll not get any further into that one. Next charity raffle shall be in February. Um, thank you once again to everybody that pitched in and donated. Um, yeah, that for a, for a, a charity raffle um, that early after Christmas and New Year uh, to get the thousand over what was it eleven hundred pounds uh, was greatly appreciated. It, it really, really was because I know how tight it is for people at this time of year. So, given to a worthwhile cause, a charity, is 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 brilliant. Thank you so much. Um, but. This is what I'm going to put up for next month. So this is the Templario 18350. Uh, it has Todd's reviews, 
engraved in the back. So this is a one-off one. Uh, and it also has the Elmo RDA on top. So that's what's going to go. This is very, very, very nice setup. This is a very nice setup. I let the silver one go. I had an 18500 and uh, and that went on my Facebook group and that raised uh, £500 for that uh, for charity once again uh, and a big shout out to Hassar Vapes because in that Facebook group they actually threw in some atties as well which was really good of them thank you Matthias you probably don't watch this buddy but thank you anyway I do I do appreciate it um, I would have kept these for the rest of my days but um, unfortunately yeah Pedro, um, listen, every once in a blue moon you're going to get a mod maker or, or somebody that doesn't like your opinion or the way you review something. It happens and it's not nice when it happens. Um, I hate it. It's only happened less, I could count on one hand the amount of times it's happened in seven, well almost seven years uh, and it does kind of it gets to me because I, I like to think that, you know, I do my damnedest to make sure that I'm giving the best opinion I can on any device. So when a, a mod maker kicks off, it's kind of like, a, there's a kick in the balls for me. I'll, I'll be, and, and, and yes, he kicked me in the balls. So I decided I wasn't going to keep them um, and, and hopefully we shall raise lots of money for, uh, I think it will be Dementia UK for this one. I think it'll be Dementia UK. Uh, but I shall not hold you back any longer. Go forth and enjoy your weekend or whatever day it is today when you watch this. I have waffled some shit through this video. I have drank a huge massive cup of coffee before I did it and I may be slightly wired. Uh, as always, Thank you so, so much for watching, uh, to all of you. Um, I truly, truly appreciate it. And on that note, bye for now.